Hi, from the Religious uh, Liberty or Freedom Front, there is news. Uh, New York City's uh, Local Law 17, which placed special restrictions on uh, pro-life uh, pregnancy counseling centers, uh, has been stayed and won't go into effect as a result of a, judge, a judgment of the uh, Federal District Court for the Southern District of New York that the law, in fact, violates uh, First Amendment freedom of expression and freedom of association. Uh, around the country, there have been four municipalities that have passed these uh, laws at the suggestion of Planned Parenthood or NARAL uh, to try to regulate uh, pro-life counseling centers. Those cities were Baltimore, Montgomery, Maryland, New York City, and Austin, Texas. With the court staying the New York City law, it means that three of those four municipalities, Baltimore, Montgomery County, Maryland, and New York City have been enjoined, and only the Austin uh, statute apparently remains. This is a major development, and it's a very important thing for freedom of speech uh, and, for, and for free expression. In each one of these cases, the cities have tried to regulate these essentially religious, moral, or ethical, or political activity uh, by defining it as commerce and stripping it of First Amendment guarantees. In each case, federal district court made short work of these laws, uh, and that, that's, an, that's an important and, and major uh, development. Each one of these areas has something special about it. It's tragically, in New York City, 41% uh, of the pregnancies end in abortion. It's a shocking number. Uh, and, the, and Maryland and the other areas, they also have statistics for abortion that run at least double uh, the national average. Uh, the model of many people uh, is that abortion should be legal, safe, and rare. Uh, tragically, it's legal, questionable as to how safe it is, surely not very safe for fetuses, but, uh, but in a place like New York City, overwhelmingly popular, and the financial power of Planned Parenthood and NARAL came into play in producing political majorities that suppress constitutional rights. A great thing to have courts that are functioning properly.